In this example, we have a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load applied onto the whole beam. And we can determine the reactions at each support by looking at the overall equilibrium of this beam. As we have only vertical uniformly distributed load or UDL applied onto the beam, we would only have vertical reactions at A and C. By inspection, we can say that there are no horizontal reactions at these supports because there are no loads applied in the horizontal direction. I'm going to call the vertical reaction at support ARA and the vertical reaction at support CRC. To make the calculations relatively simple, first we can replace this UDL or the uniformly distributed load with an equivalent point load. In general, the magnitude of equivalent point load or thrust of a distributed load like this one is equal to the area under the stress distribution and it is located at the center of that distribution. We have a 5 kN per meter applied over 10 meters. So we can write This is equal to 50 kilonewton. Therefore, the equivalent point load would have a magnitude of 50 kilonewton, and this point load would be located at the center of AC. And let's call this point B. It is obvious that now our problem has become a simply supported beam with a point load in the middle. Now let's take moments about point A. You can see that the lever arm is zero for RA when we are taking moments about point A. Hence RA has zero moments about point A. Then we have an anti-clockwise moment due to RC and the lever arm is 10 meters. There's one other force which is this 50 kN applied force and this force is causing a clockwise moment and the lever arm is 5 meters. So this is equal to RC is causing an anti-clockwise moment. That's what we have on this side of the equation and this 50 kN is causing a clockwise moment and that's what we have on this side of the equation. Therefore, we can write RC is equal to 25 kN. Now, due to the symmetry of our arrangement, we could argue that RA is also equal to 25 kN as well. But let's carry on with our calculations and prove this. Now, we can take moments about C. Just like before, the lever arm is zero for RC when we are taking moments about C. Therefore, RC results zero moments about point C. We have a clockwise moment due to RA and the lever arm is 10 meters. Then we have an anti-clockwise moment due to applied force of 50 kN with a lever arm of 5 meters. So we can write this is equal to. We can resolve this equation and then we can write RA is equal to 25 kN. Now we can check vertical equilibrium just to make sure that the results we derived are correct. For vertical equilibrium, RA plus RC should be equal to 50. We know from our calculations that RA is equal to 25 kN and RC is equal to 25 kN. Therefore, RA plus RC is equal to 25 plus 25, which is equal to 50 kN. And that is exactly what we have as our externally applied force, 50 kN.
Therefore, we can be sure that the calculated values for RA and RC are correct. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in my next video.